Hi, I'm here to talk about immigration, amnesty, and the Becerro program. I bet you don't even know what the Becerro program is. It started in 1942 during World War II when so many men went off to fight the war and it left a shortage in agricultural labor. So the government came up with the Becerro program, which is really known as the Mexican Farm Labor Program. It was a temporary work program to allow Mexicans to come into the United States and work temporarily and then leave when the harvest was over. Well, what the U.S. government did is they set up the recruiting station right at the Mexican-American border and it brought hundreds of thousands of Mexican citizens to the border and 4.3 or 4.5 million Mexicans ended up crossing the border and many of them, it, with many of them it was illegal. So that was the beginning of the illegal border crossing. And um, a lot of people never left. And that's also why we have such a large number of Mexican, illegal Mexican immigrants in the United States. And this is not a race thing. This is just facts. Um, in fact, I'm a first generation American. My mother was born in Latin America, and as well as her parents. So I understand what it means to want to be here in America. Uh, but they did it legally. Well, my mom did it. My grandparents never came. So what happened was that temporary program ended up lasting for 20 years and into 1964. And so um, in 1986, when President Ronald Reagan was, uh, when Rod Ronald Reagan was president, he uh, signed the first amnesty bill pardoning illegal immigrants. And he did this with and because of a promise that he got from New York Senator Chuck Schumer. I'll show you the picture. Nineteen eighty four, right there. And um, here's the guys coming up for the Becerro program. These are all the guys looking for work. I mean, God bless them, they were hard working citizens. So, 27 years later, after President Ronald Reagan signed the amnesty bill that Mr. Chuck Schumer said would wipe the slate clean and stop illegal immigration, 27 years later, they're trying to get the eighth one, the eighth one signed. Here he is now, same guy, Chuck Schumer, 27 years later, same story, same broken record. So, here's my deal. I believe that it's time to fix the problem, which is secure the borders. Instead of continuing to put bandages on the bleeding ulcer, right? You secure the borders, and then if you want to talk about amnesty for the eighth time, then do it. But what also needs to happen is the visa system needs to be uh, followed. We have an exit and an end an exit entrance and an exit visa system and there's different types of visas in fact my mom had a visa and she got her green card and this is when she became an American in 1957 and uh, what happens is there's a lot of people that there's a lot of fraud going on with the visa system and it's not being checked nobody checks the visa system when you're when your visa's up nobody checks and so you're just walking around and a lot of people come in with the student visa and they don't even go to school so the problem is that now we have terrorists coming into the country through the Mexican border and elsewhere and they are coming and going as they please plotting out ways to hurt and kill Americans and they succeed including children. So it's not just about us, it's not just about race, it's about children as well. It's about the democracy of the United States of America and enhancing our freedom and keeping us a free place. So that's what I had to say about it. I hope you guys learned a little bit from me today. Um, I'm going to keep trying to do this so that I can hopefully get people to start paying attention to what's going on. Okay? Thank you very much for listening.